Hey everyone, welcome to Think Woodworks. My name is Izzy Swan. A couple weeks ago, well, not even a couple weeks ago, I posted a video for the $50 wood shop where I built um, a little uh, accent table, side table out of, um, well, pallet wood. <laughs> and I had, a, I used a card scraper to help uh, finish off the top and I had a few, quite a few people ask me about that. Um, the card scraper I used was made out of an old putty knife, this one right here. Uh, and now if you want to make a card scraper on your own, lots of different materials will work. Old saw blades work if you can flatten the one side of them. Uh, putty knives work great. Uh, not all putty knives are equal, some are different. You want to look for at least a four inch one that's got some flex, some spring steel, so when you bend it, it pops back. Typically the types of putty knives like this that are meant for doing uh, drywall are, are a good choice. So today I'm going to show you how you can take a putty knife and turn it into a card scraper. All right, first of all, you're going to want to mount your putty knife somehow uh, because it's got this big old handle on it. Now, if you had a, a grinder or something, you could take that off, but I, I'm just going to leave mine on because um, I might want to use it for a putty knife in, in the future. <laughs> so, uh, what we need to do is mount this securely to our workbench. And I got a piece of half inch plywood here that I'm going to use as a guide. So, I'm going to line that up pretty close to uh, the top edge of that putty knife. And then I'm just going to take a couple screws. I've already got one in this side. And then I'll take another screw and put it in this side. And that'll just add some clamping pressure. And hold that little putty knife in position. Now once that's in, oops, a little too tight. Once I've got that in, I'm going to position it so it's just barely above the top of this. Um, a piece of half inch plywood. And then I'm going to take a file and work my edge, work this edge along here using this piece of plywood as a guide so I get a nice straight edge all the way across there. And once I've got a nice flat edge across there and I know that's a shelf, I've created a decent shelf across there, I'm going to mark it with a black marker I'm going to put my guide back up on here and I'm going to make one more pass, just one single pass. And as long as that marker came off, I'll know that that's flat all the way across there. Now once I have that flat, I've created a shelf on there, I need to create a burr. A lot of times in your kitchen you'll have like a knife hone, a, sharp, a knife sharpening, uh, I forget what they call them, hones, uh, that are just have a handle, long round, and those work really good, a steel. Um, but if you don't have one, a screwdriver with a hardened steel edge or a piece of high speed steel will work. And then what you want to do is just set that high speed steel, you're going to create that burr at about a 3 to 5 degree angle. Now I have mine a half inch up above my workbench so I know if I put that down just, you know, five, 4 inches, 5 inches past it, that's going to create a nice, that my, my really nice 5 degree angle. And then I'm just going to push it directly across it. And all I'm doing here is just creating a burr on the one edge of that putty knife. Okay, I've got a piece of Brazilian cherry clamped into my little vise here. And for those of you who aren't familiar with working with Brazilian cherry, this is the equivalent of ironwood. This is a very dense, very hard wood. And I've created a nice little burr on my, on my putty knife now. And I'm just going to push away from me. I'm going to put a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a pressure so my thumb's in the center. And as you can see, I'm getting some really nice shavings off of that. This is a little trick to know that works really well and you know, it'll do it in a pinch, especially if you don't have sandpaper or you can't find your card scrapers laying around somewhere. But, you know, it takes a little bit of practice to get good at putting an edge on a, on a scraper. Just take the time, figure it out, find a system that works for you, and before you know it, you'll be scraping like a maniac.